today we are going to make a stuffed keema naan that is sure to please everyone in your family. Hello, I'm Masala Mama. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share our video. And press the bell icon to receive notice of our latest videos. Follow us on TikTok for fun ideas and other useful tips. Chalo, let's go. Before I start, please note that you will not be using a non-stick pan for this recipe. I'm using this cast iron pan called Tava that you can find in most South Asian stores or online. Let's start with our naan dough. In a bowl, add your flour, yogurt, egg, vegetable oil, yeast, sugar, salt, baking soda, and baking powder. You will also need warm milk to mix the dough. It should be warm to the touch, not hot. Around 110 degrees Fahrenheit for those who want to know. Add the milk in slowly until you get a soft and elastic -y dough. Sprinkle some warm milk on top of the dough. Cover and set aside to proof or rise until double in volume, about two to three hours. Now, let's do our keema or ground meat stuffing. In a pan over medium heat, add olive oil and your chopped onions. Saute them two to three minutes until they're soft. Add the ginger and garlic paste and saute for about a minute. Now, add your ground meat. Here I'm using ground beef. You can use ground chicken or turkey, but not tofu. Please, no tofu, it's not right. Brown the meat until not pink anymore. Let's add the spices. I'm using salt, crushed chili flakes, cumin powder, coriander powder, and carom seeds, also called ajwain. You can add a few teaspoons of water if the meat is sticking to the pan. Lower the heat, cover, and cook for about three to four minutes. The stuffing is almost done. Let's sprinkle some garam masala and mix it into the seasoned meat. Of course, you must add chopped fresh cilantro because what is the purpose of food if cilantro is not in it? Let the mixture cool while we prepare to roll out the dough. Make balls of dough roughly the size of tennis balls. You can use dry flour on your hands to avoid the dough sticking to your hands. You will need a bowl of warm water nearby to use to make the rolled naan stick to the surface of the pan. Let's roll out the dough ball. Place about two tablespoons of the keema mixture in the center Pull the dough out and towards the center like this. Pinching in the center to make a ball like this. With your fingertips, gently press down on the dough ball and flatten it out a little bit in preparation for rolling. This helps to ensure the filling is evenly distributed. Sprinkle the sesame seeds onto the naan and help seal them in with some water. Sprinkle a little flour on the naan before rolling to avoid the rolling pin getting stuck. Gently roll out the naan to a 7 to 8 inch diameter. Now 
You can see here that the filling is evenly distributed throughout the naan. Heat the pan on medium heat. Pick up your rolled out naan and apply water generously to one side and place that side on the pan. Prick the naan with a fork to avoid getting a center that can poof up and burn. Once the naan has been on medium heat for about 30 seconds, flip the pan over to cook the other side. Keeping the naan 2-3 to three inches over the heat, move the pan around continuously to cook the naan. This will take 15 to 20 seconds. Because the naan is sticking to the pan, you need to use a spatula to remove the cooked naan. Place the naan in a tea towel and brush with butter to keep naan moist and flavorful. And there you have it! Isn't it looking yummy? Oh, and it smells great. A great option when you want to impress someone or feel the need to up your bread game. These naans are best eaten hot and fresh off the stove. It can be enjoyed on its own or with fresh yogurt or mint chutney. We hope you enjoyed our video today. Do leave us comments below if you have any questions. We do read them. Until next time, Masala Mama out.